During the past year, we've focused uh, primarily on three projects. Uh, the Free Runner, which has been shipping since July, uh, a project that we call Project B, and uh, the next version of the Free Runner, which is known as GTA 03. Uh, so we were trying to do three projects at once. And we came to the realization earlier this year that three was too many. So we had to do some prioritization. And first and foremost, uh, the most important thing to us was supporting the GTO 02, or the free runner. Uh, we've sold over 10,000 of those funds to developers. They're building distributions, they're building applications. And so <clears throat> that was a priority that we wouldn't give up. Uh, then we had to choose between Project B and uh, the GTO 03. And uh, from a resources standpoint, uh, one of them takes about, the GTO 03 takes about three times the resources as Project B. So looking at it from a financial standpoint, it made more sense to us to focus on the Project B than GTO 03. So essentially we suspended our development on GTO 03, uh, one for that resources issue and also because uh, the product wasn't very well defined. Uh, it had been through a lot of changes and the schedule had kept slipping. So it was kind of let's stop that project, take a fresh look at it later, and let's tend to the, the core business that we need to tend to. Uh, and that is supporting the free runner and uh, bringing Project B to market. Uh, it's not a telecommunications product. That's about all I can say about it. So it's not a competitive phone or a different phone. Uh, and that'll ship uh, in the fourth quarter of this year. So if we get those two things right uh, and deliver on those two things, then uh, we can do a follow-on to the free runner. Why the layoffs? Well, when you look at the resources, you've got a whole team that's dedicated to GTO 03 uh, software and hardware. Uh, for the most part, uh, those uh, layoffs were related to software, and primarily people who were working outside the company uh, and not uh, uh, in Taiwan. So the hardware team that's uh, working on things is uh, fairly intact. Uh, the software team probably took the uh, majority of the cuts. Give us some good news. You know, what's, what, what have you learned in the last few months? Oh, well, the, the, I think the most, in, the most interesting thing is that uh, you build a product for a specific customer. For example, we built the free runner for developers and then for end users. And a market really discovered us, and that is uh, the embedded uh, system computing market. People who wanted to take this phone, they didn't see it as a phone, they saw it as a computer with a GSM chip. And they saw possibilities in it that we didn't see. So all of this business that we, in this market that we didn't expect, that we never foresaw, came to us. So recently we've uh, pushed that uh, design, uh, the free runner, into the embedded uh, system uh, computing market. Uh, and we did that, that launch event for us was the ESC show in San Jose, which was a, a great success uh, for us in terms of the reception, in terms of the vision these guys have of this device as not a phone, but a computer with a GSM chip, uh, as a development platform for uh, hardware geeks, not only software geeks. So uh, a long time ago, people compared us to the iPhone, and they saw us as an iPhone killer. Um, and what we discovered was that <clears throat> by freeing up schematics, by doing things that, let's say, Apple wouldn't do, by freeing up our CAD files, that we attracted developers who wanted to change the case, which is something you can't do with an iPhone, who wanted to, you know, take our design and solder on sensors and turn it into something that we had never imagined. So that market came to us. We didn't go to them. They came to us, and that was... Uh, you know, it always happens, and you never know where it's going to come from. Someone looks at your device and, and sees something different. In the closed world, you see something different. There's, n there's not much you can do about it. But in the open world, they see something different. They want to do something different, and we enable them to do it by freeing up more than just the software, uh, freeing up the hardware and the industrial design. 
So that's been uh, that's been a joy for me to watch. You know, people create something different than I imagined. You know, we have this philosophy in, in uh, Open Mocha that the uh, people outside the company are are more creative collectively than the people inside the company. And the one thing we can do to enable that creativity is be open. So if we're open and we give people the freedom to do with our device what they want, not what we imagine, but what they want and what they need, then uh, uh, Sean says it's like a seed. We plant a seed and uh, what has grown up has is, is just surprised us. So that's part of the, the rationale for focusing on what we've already delivered, which is the free runner, is because there's more potential and more possibility in that simple platform uh, than we imagined. And for us to move on uh, from here to GTO 3 for example, that's just another smartphone, uh, would be following the crowd. And uh, we always look to lead. And so uh, that's the primary motivation behind this, is how do we lead down this path? How do we establish leadership in these areas? Not by following other people and doing you know, yet another smartphone. So it fits with our uh, you know, uh, financials, it fits with our philosophy, and so it seemed like the right decision to us. Our uh, focus is going to be on delivering on the promise of Freerunner. Uh, we ship that phone uh, with its software and we're going to continue to support it and enrich it. And then the other thing would be uh, wait for Project B. Uh, I know a lot of people are interested and are asking me, you know, what is it? I've given a tentative announcement date of August. And so uh, just keep following us and keep supporting us. Uh, we love the work. Uh, we wouldn't be where we are without the community. Uh, we were, uh, I can't keep up with all of the things that they do, all of the different distributions, all of the different applications. Uh, you know, so it's, it's very heartening for me to see them uh, you know, exploit their creativity and I would just say keep at it.